What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel for today's figure review I have for you none other than the NECA Last Ronin TMMT action figure. I'm so stoked to get this one in the box. We're going to take a look at it, all the good stuff that we normally do, and we're going to see if this is really worth the hype. We got it in the light box, so let's go ahead now and let's take a closer look. So we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin. Um, this cover, obviously, the signature pretty noticeable in the bottom corner is Ben Bishop. Um, we've got the Nickelodeon logo. It says Last Ronin Armored, and we got the NECA logo on the front. On the side, we've got this cool graphic saying The Last Ronin. Kind of a cool picture with him kind of looking over his shoulder. On the back, we've got some product shots of... The figure, um, we also have a little bit of a story going on the back, which I will read to you right now. Who is the last Ronin in the future battle ravaged New York City, a lone surviving turtle embarks on a seemingly hopeless mission, seeking justice for the family he lost from the legendary TMMT creators, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, comes the final story of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three decades in the making. So if you guys haven't read this comic, you probably should pick it up. From what I heard, it's really cool. I might even pick it up myself. I'd rather wait for all the books to come out that way we can get a um you know like a compendium so it's all in one book that way it's easier for me to process another cool product shop with him just sitting there with the hood on he's got the glasses so that's pretty cool on the bottom of the box we've got all the people that were involved in the creation of this uh the NECA logo the real toys logo and that's about it and then on the top you can go ahead and see the last ronin logo the warning choking hazard and the nickelodeon logo Right, guys and we got that cool product shot of the last road in there on the left hand side and then on the right side obviously you see the figure and the slew of accessories that it comes with so i'm super excited as you guys so let's get this out of the box let's take a look at the accessories and we'll go from there guys and here is all the accessories out of the box and wow it is a lot i'm taken back by exactly how much was was in here to be honest with you um so starting out with the simple stuff um obviously we got left and right hands for the uh grabbing of some of the weapons and stuff like that so the detail on the hands is really cool obviously he's got the three fingers he's got like a little pad right there and it's on a on a joint but this is a little stiff, so I don't know, maybe if you might want to heat it up or anything before you try to peg it in. You also have an open grasping left and right hand. Again, really cool detail on the fingers showing the aging of the hand, so pretty sweet. Um, we also have an extra bandana. Um, there's the, the portrait that is currently on the figure has a hood on it, so I'm sure you could pull the, the head out of the hood and then plug this into the back so he's got an extra part to the bandana. Um, as you guys can see, we've got the goggles that go on. They are elastic, so they will um, stay on his head, and they're uh, pretty well done. The paint on these is pretty good, so there's like no overspray or anything like that, but and I also like the elastic, so it'll stay nice and taut on the head. Um, we've got a bunch of uh, throwing stars, which are kind of cool. They did a really good job on that. They're really small, so just be careful. You don't want to drop them because you might lose them, but got some throwing stars. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think it's like maybe like some kind of like grenade or detonator or something for him to carry. So it's got like a red button there. So I'm assuming it's got to be like a grenade or something. So, but pretty cool detail on that. We've also got this um, claw that has a rope on the end of it, which is really cool. That's something different that I haven't seen before. So nice little uh, accessory. So this is like a grappling claw or he wants to use it as a weapon to throw at somebody to grab them. Um, we have this kind of like metalish looking um, night stick almost which it has some cool detail to it obviously you could tell it's uh by the paint it's metal so it definitely has a lot of cool shading and the gunmetal paint and it's pretty pretty sturdy piece too and nice so it sh he should be able to grip that pretty well um obviously we have the sai which is also done very nicely we've got like that nice leather wrapping around the handle um the metal color on it looks great 
and it does come to a nice point. It is a little pointy, so be careful you don't prick yourself with it, but still pretty cool. We also have a sword, and again, we got a sheathing for the sword, and then the sword itself. So again, nice job on like the, the style and the design of the sword, which is really cool. Um, I would have liked to see maybe like a little bit of more weathering on the sword, but overall, it is a pretty cool. And again, I like the fact that it comes with a, uh, you know, sheathing for it. So you can, I think you can actually put this on his back. We've got the really cool bow staff that's wood, so you can see like the grain structure in the wood, which is really cool. And we got like the leather wrapping around it so again they, they think they did a pretty good job on the detail of the uh the staff and then of course last but not least the nunchucks so again i like that this is not plastic this is metal so you know they put a little extra effort into it um so twirl them around and whatnot Wah! so pretty cool detail on that so and of course last but not least we've got this really cool mouth open portrait which again looks awesome a lot of detail you could tell that it you know he's aged he's got like a lot of wrinkles and some you know some weathering like he's seen some stuff and again it's a ball joint so it just pops on but the paint detail you've got like the spotted spots on the back but overall they did a really good job and then again like i said here you can plug in this one or you can plug in this one which is a little um smaller so and it goes off to the goes off to the side like that. But this portrait's freaking awesome. The portrait that's on the figure, which you'll see in a minute, is a non-smiling portrait. But I kind of like this portrait. This is kind of cool between the two. So all right, let's go ahead now and let's get the figure into the box. We'll take a look at the figure and then we'll look at the articulation, guys. And here is a look at the figure and first impressions really cool love the detail on it love the way it looks um we're gonna go into that right now so we've got that really cool like teeth open well teeth closed portrait like i told you about um the hood does come off again it plugs into the back which is really cool so i'll just put the hood for right here for right now he's got the outfit on he's got hooks and stuff on the belt that you could put some of the accessories in also on the back he's got like part for the sheathing for the sword and probably the uh, the bow will go through there which is great um and again he's got hooks on the belts and stuff so you can basically put all the weapons on him if you want as holding spots which again i think is a nice touch because again you know nobody ever really wants to lose the weapons um i like the, the weathering on the brown belt i like how he has like different knee pads so you can tell like he's constantly like replacing stuff as he's fighting and stuff's getting damaged which is cool and again the outfit is really sick so quick spoiler alert if you guys don't know or haven't read this is actually michelangelo michelangelo was the last remaining turtle all the other ones have died off so this is michelangelo in the comic, he's not as funny or witty. He's more dark and, and, you know, closed off because, again, you know, you lose your family. That's what happens. Um, overall, though, I love the look of the figure. I think it's cool. It's got, like, little texturing on the pants and everything and on the arms. So other than that, I think great job on that. Let's go ahead now. Let's look at the articulation. So as far as the head goes, you know, there's not much pivoting with that. Um... There's a little bit of torso crunch going forward, um, going back. You know, there is a little bit right here. He does have some waist pivoting. Um, the elbows are um, double jointed, um, but the knee pad, the elbow pads kind of hinder it a little bit. Um, his arm does go up. That's about as high up as it goes because you've got these shoulder pads uh, blocking it. The legs go forward, yay far. Um, they don't go that far back because the jacket obviously hinders it. The knees are actually double jointed, which is fantastic. Um, we also have some ankle pivoting, but no uh, toe articulation. And, um, you know, the wrists have a little bit of pivoting to them. And that's about it. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead now. Let's get the diorama in here and let's have ourselves a little photo shoot and a, and a figure posing session.
right, guys. So final thoughts. This figure is totally worth the hype. It is totally worth the price. I highly suggest you go and pick this up if you haven't already. This is definitely one you do not want to miss out on. Um, the articulation obviously not being all that great, but that makes up for with the paint, the detail, and the slew of accessories that come with it in my opinion. I think it's an awesome figure, and if you are a TMMT collector, this is definitely a must-add to your collection. So definitely pick it up if you haven't already. And uh, other than that, guys, that's going to wrap up another figure review for this week. So if you guys like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another figure review gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we always offer right here at MCE. And until next time, guys, that's what's popping.